Okay, so in the previous chapters, we talked about inspection and masking. In this particular chapter, we'll talk about data profiling. So data profiling is very similar to inspection. So the only difference here is that the profiling process or the inspection process would be a continuous process and it wouldn't stop once you've finished your job trigger. And the other important thing to consider is that data profiling currently only works for your BigQuery. So let's see how this is done in our console. So let's go to our console. So here, I'm, so here I'm in my data loss prevention console. So let's click on data profile. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a configuration for this. So let's create a configuration. So here let's click on manage configuration. And here what we need to do is we need to create a configuration. So let's create configuration. So we'll be selecting this particular project. One important thing to note is you can actually do it at an organization level as well. So you can just click on organization and you can basically select the entire organization or you can scan the entire organization. But for this example, let's just select one particular project and that is the current project that we are in. So let's click on this and let's click on continue. And so what I'll do here is I'll be creating a new inspection template. So this is the same inspection template that we had pre created previously. And the file that we're going to inspect would be this particular file. So what I'll do is I'll select the pan again, as well as the name and the age. So let's do that. So let's go to our manage info type and let's choose those parameters. So I'll choose the last name. Let's also choose the age. And let's choose the Indian. Pan individual. Let's click on done. And let's click on continue here. Continue. So here it'll ask you where you want to store your configuration. Let's just store it in, let's say, US East one, click on continue and let's click on create. Okay. So once you've done this, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go to BigQuery and we'll upload this particular Excel file that contains our data. So let's go to BigQuery. And here I am in my BigQuery Explorer page. The first thing I'll do is I will create a data set. Let's click on create data set. And let's create it in, let's say, let's create it in US East one itself. And let's just call this as my data set. Click on create data set. Okay, so I cannot have this dash. Let's click on create data set. And within this particular data set, let's create a table. So let's create a table. And this table, I'll upload it from the Excel, uh, from the CSV file that I have. Let's click on browse. So I'll be using this age.csv. It's basically this file that contains the age, name, address, and the pan. So it's in the CSV format. Let's just call this as my table. And let's auto detect the schema. And let's create this table. Go to job and my table has been created and if you go to the details you can see that there are 12 rows let's click on preview and you can see the values here as well so once you've got this done let's go back to our data loss prevention and let's see whether it was able to detect all these fields so let's go back to our data loss prevention And one thing to remember is that you have to select the location in which your particular BigQuery, is, uh, BigQuery file is created. So, so this is something that you must know. So let's click on US East one because the data that we had stored was in US East one. And you can see that there is values available here. So let's open this. And here it will give you all the values. 
so here you can see that the band the age the name and the address so these are all the values that it was able to detect so and the data risk here is mentioned is also high so this is how you do your data profiling now another, so another important thing to note is that this is basically a continual process that is your data profiling and if you want to pause your particular scan you can go to your configuration and underneath data profiles so this shows you all the scan configuration so you can just open the scan configuration and you can pause this particular scan if you do not want the scan to uh, run and you can see that it's in a pause state so that is it for your data profiling i hope this was useful i will see you in the next